hello guys and uh, welcome to my youtube channel again i just want to thank all my subscribers and also all the viewers and if you are viewing this channel and you've not subscribed and you like my content um, i just request you to subscribe um, but it's uh, not it's willingly okay if you like it you can subscribe okay because um what i know that is that you cannot subscribe to the channel you don't like the content or that is not your area of specialization so that's why i not force you to subscribe okay so in this video i want to talk about um mpesa demo on a live application so you want to see how that um it was integrated and the logic behind it because if you understand the logic then it will be easier for you to to write such logic if you just understand it well okay so what happens is that we have a list of books okay and also customer books and then past papers there so let's say somebody want to buy okay you have to think they are free and premium let's say that somebody want to buy um like this one costing one shilling i think that's just for demo maybe um so if you click here you find that it opens that specific um item and if it is premium you have the buy listing here or buy button here where somebody clicks on so now when you click on that what happens is that you get um sdk push initialization so sdk push is initialized right here and the user gets a pop-up on the phone okay using the, the the phone number that they registered with so i'll just add it so let me just click it and the user has to be logged in for them to be able to buy so let me just use a, a demo email that i just created there and then after that i'm taken to the checkout page here right on this page you check out i have you can see the credit card and then the paypal and then the mpesa so this video actually is for the east african east african as those people who reside in east africa because mpesa is mostly in east africa but i think this has gone to other parts of the world now here when i click on the confirm here the, somebody can pay now this one is when somebody is paying using their phone number the phone number that they registered with you'll see the phone number appearing here but in case the user wants to to use another phone because you know nowadays you find people have full users or whatever so they'll prefer using other phones right so they can just click here and now you can see this where somebody can enter an alternative phone number they want to use right so i'll just uncheck that and now here you can see i'm going to use this phone number just for demo so when i click on confirm payment what happens is that a receipt is generated and it is sent to my email or to the user's email and then um, another email is sent to admin okay no not it's not sent to admin at this point actually that that is just an invoice invoice is sent to the user so let's just do it uh let's just do it practically there so if i just click this you see the invoice here and you see the message here a pop-up has been sent to your phone number please enter your mpesa pin to authenticate the transaction okay so that's what you want to do uh, you want to tell the you want to give the user instruction because these users are not software developers so they may not know they may not know what is to happen all right and i've just used this for demo you can see uh, we have this invoice that has been generated and this invoice is unpaid and it has been sent to the to the user's email to this email here i'm going to show you okay so what they have to do i uh, i have the the stk push i've received the stk push i mean i've received the stk pop-up and what i just want to do is we just sent a uh, the pin 
and then um you you can see you have two buttons here uh, you have whether you want to download this receipt you can just click on this and then it is going to be downloaded you can see there and then this asks you if you've already paid and this is unpaid invoice but then if somebody if that user pays it is going to be paid so i have already paid meaning that it has changed the status to paid and if i refresh this invoice uh, and the transaction has gone through you, you you will see that okay so i'll just i'm just going to click on this already paid and then i'll go to this but if the user has not paid this is going to remain as pending the transaction is going to remain as pending all right and it is it is still pending uh, because i not received the message um i've not received the message and that's why you see the transaction here it is still pending i don't know what is the problem with safaricom nowadays and pesa nowadays because uh, it takes a long time to, to confirm a payment but then once this payment comes this transaction is going to be completed and then um, after being completed um I, i'll show you this invoice is going to be sent another invoice is going to be sent to the user that is a paid invoice so i'm just going to i'm just going to open this email here and you can see we have a new in inbox in, in 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 email here that has been sent and it says this is a system generated and paid invoice and um, if already pay you should receive a paid invoice thank you and you can see that this is they have the attached document here i can just click and then i have the invoice there i can download okay so basically um that is how you do the integration but then um uh, if the payment will have gone through what will happen is that this button will change from pay, from pending to completed and then this action will now change to download where now the user who has paid is able to download that specific uh, material that they paid for yeah okay so i just wanted to do that demo and that helps you and then after this i forgot after this an email uh, has will be sent the admin notifying the admin that somebody has um, bought something like or the user has bought something or has paid for something okay so that is just the general knowledge general logic you can use that logic to apply on your application okay and so thank you so much uh, and i think in the next video i'm going to do a clarification between uh, using the till number how do you configure the payment using the till number and also when you are using the pay bill number there are few they are they are a bit different and they are two different like uh, i'll talk about that in the next uh, video